Steve Hemminger, Metropolitan Transportation Commission Executive Director, approaching on the left, is about to shake the hand of Caltrans Chief Bridge Engineer Brian Maroney. It's an historic moment. Caltrans contractors have just successfully cut the middle, suspended span of the 1936 cantilever truss in half. On April 2nd, uh, the contractor cut through all the final points that are connecting both halves of the cantilever. This, this was a big moment. The bridge is now severed. And, this is the, and now, from this point on, you're going to have workers working in opposite directions, west towards the island and east towards Oakland, to take this cantilever down. The old bridge is filled with tension. Taking it apart the wrong way could release that tension in disastrous fashion. Its final cut is a tribute to computer models and advanced engineering that told workers which piece to remove, when, and how. It involved a daily rebalancing act. As they removed 2,100 tons of concrete, they had to rebalance the bridge somewhere else. As they took out 375 tons of rebar, they had to rebalance the weight distribution again. Every day, inch by inch, pound by pound, ton by ton. The engineers have spent a lot of time looking at how this bridge was built, and they're basically taking it apart in opposite order. So they did a very detailed computer animation that kind of tells them how much each individual piece weighs, and, and, and they can do a lot of, um, of, of computations and kind of de determining how different pieces will react when they're cut and how much jacking load needs to be in certain locations. The gap is going to get bigger and bigger, and in the next few weeks, uh, the bridge is going to look a lot like it did back in the 1930s when they were working to close that gap. So the video we just saw was from about seven days ago. Look what's been accomplished in just one week. So about a week ago, the uh, contractor cut the cantilever mid-span. There was about a dozen or so points that had to be severed. Uh, they got all that work done in just one day. And now about a week later, they've taken out 50 feet right in the middle of the cantilever. Uh, the work is going extremely well, and in the next few days, we're going to see probably that gap expand to 100 feet. And they're just going to keep taking it back further and further and further until this entire suspended span right in the middle of the cantilever is completely gone. Engineers had planned to work on the western side first and then the eastern. To save money in the long run, an additional $12 million is being spent to work on both sides at the same time. This is just the first phase of three contracts to take apart the old eastern span of the Bay Bridge. The $300 million demolition is expected to take three to five years. On the Bay Bridge, Mark Jones reporting.